and today I'm going to be doing my monthly makeup basket. I'm not going to do this at the beginning or the end of the month because I feel like things that I put in my basket may end up in my favorites and I don't want to be talking about the same products like in the same week. If you're not familiar with a monthly makeup basket, essentially, um, for me anyways, it's going to be a drawer in my vanity that every month I will switch out products for things that I want to use, things that I want to use up, things that I've neglected. If you saw in my declutter series that I did uh, late last year, which I will link to down below, I definitely had a lot of makeup that I got rid of, but there was a lot of makeup that I rediscovered. So now that I have my new vanity set up, I want to do a better job of using uh, not only different makeup because I don't want it to go to waste, but to keep it interesting for you guys. And I want to like play around with color, use things I wouldn't normally use. So you're not seeing the same thing like day in and day out. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is an overview of the drawer. I've got an Alex uh, 5 drawer that is has like a desktop on top of it. And then everything that's in here organized is just stuff from the dollar store um, so as I mentioned these are all just products that I want to make more use of during this month so first of all let's get started with palettes um, the first palette that I want to make more use of which isn't gonna be a problem to do because I'm obsessed is the Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette um, I'm really hoping that they're gonna make this not only permanent but available to Canadians because it is like the best thing ever and I hate talking about it if you guys can't go grab it um, the next thing, and from a brand you're gonna see a good bit about um, in this makeup basket, because I got so much of it, is an Inglot Freedom System palette. A bunch of these shades are from their new spring line, um, so they're really, really pastel and shiny and gorgeous, and then some great kind of warm shades over here. Um, I did a big Inglot haul recently, so I'll link to that down below if you'd like to check it out. Um, and then not only are these gonna have like things that I wanna use up, but also just my staples. Um, and my Kat Von D shade and light is a big time staple. I use it every single day to set my under eye and to contour. The next item that I wanna make more use of is something new to me. It's the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. I mentioned this in an American drugstore haul. And I probably won't use this every day because I generally reach for the Kat Von D, but I would like to try using this for baking and see how it compares to my Coty Airspun, which I love. So let's start with the face stuff because I find that the most exciting um, a bronzer that I love that I just want to kind of oh that's the brand new one hold on okay try that again a bronzer that I love that I want to use up is this NYX matte bronzer this one is in the shade deep if you are like my skin tone you're welcome because this is the perfect contour shade but as you can see I've used up a lot of it and I'm ready to finish it as mentioned in my blush tag I want to make use of cream products more so to get started I want to use up some of this benefit high beam because I just suck at incorporating cream into my routine um, a new blush to me is the wet n wild mellow wine a great neutral I figure I can use this um, when I'm not really sure what blush I want to wear um, on the opposite end of neutral is NYX's HD blush in double dare this is just like an amazing true orange blush then for highlighting um, this is a palette that I mentioned in that um, American drugstore haul this is available in Canada though too it is the uh, Rimmel by Kate contour palette in the shade golden bronze and I just don't know if I really love this yet so I want to use it more to figure out how I feel about it and then for highlights this one is new to me except it is like not new to the rest of the world I'm just really late on the bandwagon for this <laughs> it is the physicians formula shimmer strips and this is in Vegas strip and I thought that this would make a gorgeous golden highlight and then speaking of gorgeous golden highlights Laura Geller gilded honey on to lips, obviously, spring is approaching. Uh, it's like 20 degrees here today. So I'm thinking bright lips. This is the Essence XXL Shine Lip Gloss and I never ever wear like bright lip glosses so I wanna try. Uh, Too Faced Melted in Melted Fuchsia. And then this is a beautiful color. It is the Rimmel Apocalypse. Are these being discontinued? Let me know down below. Um, this one is in the shade Stellar and it's just a gorgeous corally color. Then um, an Inglot matte lip tint. This one is in the shade 17, a really nice kind of brownie nude. And then the Essence Liquid Lipstick. Um, this one is in the shade Peach Party. And it's kind of like, again, a pigmented gloss, which is something I wanna do more often. This, boom, look at that. This is like a gray lipstick in the shade 436, again, from Inglot. And I really, really wanna rock a gray lipstick. I've been 
absolutely feeling it lately. Um, I want to incorporate um, more color into my looks, so I'm going to use the Sephora Colorful Eyeliner Waterproof, and this is in the shade Pool Party. Rach Loves talks about this all the time, which is why I bought it. Um, and then this really gorgeous Inglot um, Pure Pigment Eyeshadow. This is in the shade 86. I'm totally going to do like an Inglot face of the day. There's also products that aren't in here that I like plan to review, but I didn't want to put those in here. They've got a, another drawer. Um, and then the L'Oreal Paris um, Single Eyeshadow. I suck at using single eyeshadows. This is Amber Rush, um, and I know I love it, so it'll be easy to use. Then from Makeup Forever, I did a video on these on Tuesday. Um, they are their Aqua XL Eye Pencils. I want to use the Mint in M30, and then this kind of, I don't know, Indigo or something in M22. And then for brows this month, I've got the Quo Brow Kit. This is like just a nice little... Uh, brow kit and it's got a wax in there the l'oreal brow stylist this has seen better days and it's almost gone so i want to use it up the elf instant lift brow pencil uh, this is something that i got new and then the kat von d tattoo liner another staple in my collection uh, i've got like multiples in here because i like to mix it up this is the uh, bourgeois mascara effect push-up volume glamour amazing mascara but it's almost gone so i want to finish that this is a new favorite of mine i think i mentioned it in my february favorites it's the clarins truly waterproof this stuff is insane um, it gives you like false lashes and then the lash blast volume i like this um, as like a final coat mascara because it's got like a hard plastic brush and then onto the face products i want to use up my l'oreal infallible uh, pro matte that is like almost gone I'm really bad at using primers, so I figure if I put it in this drawer, maybe I'll uh, actually make use of it. Um, this is the Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer Serum from Hard Candy, oil-free, silicone-free, and alcohol-free. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Concealer. I've had it forever, don't really love it, but I just wanna use it. Um, and then also the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This one is almost gone, so I wanna finish this. My favorite ever corrector. This is the NYX Dark Circle Corrector, and I've hit pan on this. And, oh, dinner's ready. I'm in the middle of something, potatoes. Um, and then the Bourjois Air Matte. I'm gonna do an Oily Skin Diaries on this. I can't even believe how amazing it is. And then a new powder to me from Smashbox. Um, I don't own really anything from Smashbox, a couple lipsticks. Uh, this is their Photo Filter Powder Foundation in the shade 7, and I really love powder foundations, so I definitely want to talk more about them on my channel, so I'm excited to give this one a try, and then I'll review it as well. Thank you so much for watching. If there is a different way that you would like to see this monthly makeup basket go down, let me know. This is my first month of doing it, so if you've got any uh, suggestions, things you'd like to see more of, less of, uh, let me know down below, and if you would like to connect with me, you can find Find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!